guys, welcome back to Let's Play All the Games. Today we did something a little bit different. We checked out one of our favorite local game stores who have supplied us with a great deal of games and systems and controllers and all kinds of crazy shit over the last year or so. Really supportive of the channel and we wanted to uh, do, you know, show them off to you guys. They're kind of a small chain. Um, they have some stores around, uh, you know, the Maryland area, the Pennsylvania area, and of course here in Morgantown. And Holy crap, have we got some stuff from there that is really, really cool. Uh, so we thought maybe we... Oh, sorry. Well, we also shot there earlier today. Yeah. Which we'll cut to, but the intro that we had recorded, I basically looked dead <laughs> in it because the lighting was terrible. So now we're re-recording. I insisted on coming back and uh, recording a new intro for it. So that's what we're doing now. So here's the new intro. Um, yeah. So check it out. Uh, do you want to show off the games now? Or? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So here's some of the cool stuff that we found there over the last year or so, um, including How long have today. They been, I can't remember when they opened. It's uh, they opened. We were there the first. Yeah, they opened sometime minute. in like the late winter, early spring. This one, um, we used to go to Retrospect Games before it became Cartridges Galore. Yeah, we used which to travel. The store is Cartridges Galore. We used to travel what? Yeah, about an hour. Hour. Yeah, because they had one in Cumberland, store. and there was a different one called Retrospect that Cartridges took over. So they're kind of like in the same thing. But this is cool stuff that we've only got at the Morgantown store this last year. So uh, let's see. Uh, what well, was today's haul that you got? Today's haul. Yeah, this is today's haul of retro gaming stuff. This is a, like, you know, mostly retro game stuff we get. But um, here we go. First up, oh, Dragon Warrior in the box. Not just in the box, but really good shape box. And with the manual and the game. So... With the manual in the game in there. So really cool retro gaming find there. Pretty, you know, pretty nice. I don't know what this game is. This is... This is the O... Uh, Dragon Warrior is the OG RPG. Okay. Yeah, it is the OG of RPGs. Speaking, Speaking of, of RPGs. Oh, yeah, and OGs. Did not have Final Fantasy. Um, found Dino Wars. Kind of a beat-up copy of it. But, uh, you know, I had fun playing with that with my cousin as a kid. Um, and some strange stuff. Somebody had traded in a whole Nintendo Power Collection... So, with Dragon Warrior, they just gave me the old Dragon Warrior little Nintendo Power book. Always and useful. And the Nintendo Power Vice Project Doom one, because it had a Battletoads comic. It was four bucks, and Vice Project Doom Screw walkthrough. Screw Game Facts. Yeah. We, we got the... Nintendo Power was the shit back in the day. Like, there was no argument about this. It was the shit, period. So, that was today's haul. Um... Previous hauls, however... That's not why we went there. We went there to record, and then Andy yeah. was like, I'm going to buy this stuff. Oh, hell yeah, I'm going to buy shit. <laughs> uh, have we... I, I walked in there. I was going to buy something. Oh, sorry. So, they also work with... Um, well, let's place... just go through the... Like, yeah, just randomly. They work the uh, with a place that does... That we found there. God, yeah. Uh, the horror games, horror games alone. Junkie. Let me put this aside. So, we don't even have a 3DO. They but... had a 3DO. We didn't buy it. We bought the game. Uh, this is Alone in the Dark, the original one, which yeah. is the game that got me started in survival horror. I played it on the PC, but yeah. they had they had a 3DO and this one, and I think Alone in the Dark. They had the second one, too. too. I just got that yeah. for, yeah. Uh, we bought the first game. They've sold the 3DO since then. So yeah, we, and we may we, we have, even have like Alone in the Dark on our PC now, and we'll probably go play we'll through of it. Eventually, we'll own the system, and we'll be able to Yeah, we just wanted that. So. Um, somebody brought in Clock Tower 2 one day, and I snapped that right up. It was not cheap. Uh, this is not an easy one to find. But, yeah, it was really cool. Technically really good shape. Clock Tower Technically 3. Clock Tower 3, um, which we'll tell you more about here in a minute. So and this was a really good find. Speaking of Technically Clock Tower 1. Yeah, Clock Technically Tower Clock Tower 1. Clock Tower the SNES, which yeah. we also picked up there. This is a, a translated... I yeah, think this it was is a fan translated copy. Yeah, it was only released on the Famicom. This is translated in English. But this when was, we saw um, that, we were like, yes. Well, yeah, no, definitely. we actually had them special order this Yeah, us. we did have them special yeah. order this Uh I think it came from 8-Bit Evolution, so cool guys there that they work with. They do, like, fan trans and um, homebrew cartridges. And rounding so, it out. Clock, Clock Tower, Tower 3, 3, which is kind of Clock Tower 4. We'll pick up Clock Tower yeah, 2. Yeah, slash 1, slash whatever. Point. They've had it. We We're missing it. one. So we basically bought the entire Clock Tower series from there. And, and still in the horror games. Yeah. We saw this and debated about it for a while and then eventually picked it up at Silent Hill Shattered Memories for PlayStation 2. Yep. Which I didn't realize this was so hard to find. It I was kind of pricey a little bit. But I had it on PSP when it Yeah, and the PSP out, version so. is not too hard to find. It's the PS2 yeah. version that's hard. Or the Wii version's probably easy too. Um, not quite horror, but kind of tying in. You don't see this very often. Um I found This one you can find fairly Yeah, easily. Fear Effect Fear you can Effect find. One, this one, Fear I Effect don't two, see very however. often. And somebody and traded in a bunch of shit. I was so like, oh, I'll get I'm both really of these. I'm really excited about that one. 
Yeah. So that was kind of cool. Um, some random other things that have nothing to do with War Bucket Finds. Uh, super Ghouls and Ghosts, because, you know, sometimes you have to play this game and hate yourself. Um, East 3 Wanderer from Yeast on the Super Nintendo. Yes, it's called Yeast. It's Y-S, but it's pronounced Yeast. Um, I have this on my Turbo Graphics. I have a Turbo Graphics. I saw this, I was like, what the hell? I wonder what it's like. It's different, but basically the same game. It's like, yeah, it's fine. Why not? Um, NES time. You notice that Nintendo Power I got earlier? Ooh, Vice Project Doom. That was a good find. We got a light that's kind of... Yeah, I kind of shine on it. So that was fun to find. That comes from a uh, huge haul that came in back in May, which uh, stayed at the end of the video. You'll see what that haul looked like that somebody traded in. I it saved was like, the picture. It was so epic. It was like the oh shit button. We were there at noon when they opened that day. Uh, other cool stuff from that day? It was day? like 700. Yeah, it was, it was like absurd. Like, like it, it was beyond. We have way more games over in our collection than we picked up that day. Yeah, sure. and yeah, we picked up like twelve to sixteen between us. Uh, Uninvited, another cool find over there. Um, this Deja Vu Shadowgate, the uh, Kemco Seika, you know, little like mystery gamey thing. Uh, Crystallis, you don't see this one too often. It was uh, an adventure game, not quite Zelda like, more RPG ish than Zelda, but that was kind of cool. Here's a fun one. This one's awesome. Yeah. We saw this in the case. This is another, yeah. I think it's another like fan translation. And thing. we're eventually going to do had, this one on the channel. I th yeah. Oh, we looked up a screenshot and it said, so, I yeah. forget what it said. It's on the, is it, no, it's on the back. It's, um, it's not. Yeah, it was it just was like the snarkiest the, comment The subtitle ever was so ridiculous got where we were like, we have to pick this up and play this. And we, we yeah. did come back and play it and it's actually really awesome. We'll play yeah, it's a really it cool shooter. for the channel. Yeah. Um, it's, it's very anime. Yeah. Very, very anime. Anyway, it's Battle Mania 2, which, which is a, we've it's never a, played um, Battle Mania 1. But. The original one is available in the U.S. on the Genesis. It's very rare. It's titled differently. Yeah. Um, this was a sequel. One last Super thing. Super fun game. We'll show got, it to you at some point. And this one I always want to show off because I got this. I showed this on Twitter once for 12 bucks. This is uh, Samurai Showdown for SNES in the box. The reason I want to show this off, pop this open. Not only is the box in perfect condition, everything is in here, including... The game itself is still in the plastic. I don't know who traded this in. I'm not talking like the instruction manuals here. I'm talking like the sign up for Nintendo Power flyer is oh, in yeah. this box. Is that? No, that's the register. Oh. The registration yeah. card is in here. Like, here you go. Yeah, oh, the yeah. Nintendo Power that's sign up. That's awesome. I didn't even know this stuff. Yeah, and it was like for 12 bucks. This cool. is like in perfect shape. And it was like, oh my God, I want this. Like, because Samurai Showdown, I used to play a lot. I wonder I if you can call this 800 number anymore and... <laughs> Join the Super Nintendo Power Super Power Club. There's one dude who hasn't had a phone call in like 20 years. You call him and he has a heart attack because the phone rang. Doesn't know what to happen. I also think it was in a really joke. good condition. Yeah, like concerned. the whole thing. I was like, I don't normally worry about things in the box. When I can find something that's cool, yeah, okay, we'll do it. But this was, you know, just like, holy crap, yeah, I'm doing that. So we just, I mean, yeah, we're bragging, um, you know, because we had good finds. And they're a local store and they. We're not really bragging. We're saying check this place out. Yeah, that too. Because awesome. they have, uh, you can talk to them on Facebook online. It's Cartridges Galore. They know their yeah. business. And one last thing I found there because, and they take in really good trades and they do really good for people when they do that, obviously, because people are giving these games to them, you know, you know, trading them in for cash, credit, whatever. So, and that's to our benefit, your benefit, other people's benefit. But I even found a freaking Turbo Graphics game, Champions Forever Boxing. Not the best Turbo Graphics game. Didn't care because it was a Turbo Graphics game I didn't own. When I find one of those, I freaking buy it. You don't find a Turbo Graphics game anywhere. So yeah, that's my last one. We should mention that this isn't the only awesome vintage game yeah. store within walking distance of our apartment. But I was gonna say every time we walk into the other one, yeah. there's a guy behind the counter who asks Andy if he if has it, any. Like they're Turbo asking me stuff. if I found any new stuff. So, but yeah, it's really cool that we're really lucky in our downtown area. We have two incredible vintage gaming stores, uh, cartridges we're talking about, another one, um, we'll talk about them later, that are within walking distance of each other. So, we're actually kind of lucky in that regard. Plus, yeah. we can always go up to Pittsburgh if we really feel saucy. So, we yeah. We can pretty much find any game we want. Yeah, we're, okay, now we're bragging. <laughs> what are you saying? Like... Well, I'm bragging. <laughs> no, but we're lucky. That we're and fine. you so, can too. Indeed. So check out the video, a little bit of the story here in Morgantown. Um, send them some love. I'm sure if there's something you're looking for, they would love to, you know, if they have it, let you know. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm going to kick over to where we're going to kick over to that video. Thanks for watching, as always. We shot it today. Yep. It was good times. Yeah. Uh, Katie shot most of it. So her skills of an artist. Thank you guys again. Uh, until next time, see you, Space Cowboys. So this is Cartridges Galore. They've got a couple of different uh, stores here in uh, the 
Pittsburgh, or rather the Pennsylvania, Morgantown, and Maryland areas. Mostly in Maryland. They've got one up in Altoona, PA, and of course this one here in Morgantown, West Virginia. Lots of cool stuff. Even a couple of arcade and pinball cabinets. Hey, The Simpsons, we played that. You should check that out on the channel. Some more in Space Jam happening there. <laughs> You've got some Master System stuff sticking around. That's cool. Apparently, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? San Diego is on pretty much every system ever. San Diego. San Diego. <laughs> I can't even talk in real life, folks. It's not just an act for YouTube. Of course, we've got plenty of modern stuff, too. PS3, PS4. But we're really here to check out the retro and see what's kind of shiny. Give you guys a glimpse of the PS3 and PS4 collector's stuff. Some pretty cool stuff in here. <laughs> really cool artwork, too. There's Andy. Also, me introducing you to a fellow Andy. He's Hello. the main guy who runs the store. Hey, Andy. Welcome How you doing? <laughs> Anything you want to say? Um, we are here Monday through Saturday, 12 to 7. So feel free to stop by anytime. Take trade just like GameStop with better prices. That's true. <laughs> so let me show you the Xbox case and some other stuff, and then we'll take a look at the really cool stuff, like the Super Nintendo and the NES games and all. Cooler 360 display there, which is running Sonic, which is kind of even better. Oh, love it. R2-D2 like console. I like the oh, yeah. Chris figure, actually. I didn't even see Chris Redfield first. Cool. I love the steel cases. I wish more games did games like that. Ooh, what do we got? If you need an N64, apparently we're good to go here, too. And, uh, gotta show you this custom console, showing off a little Mountaineer pride. Mmm. Love it. Oh, hey, Pikachu's down there, too. So that gives you an idea of what I was here. I thought we'd peek around, but uh, you want to go check out the NES and the SNES, Katie? So this is always my favorite part, the SNES and the NES case. Ooh, hello, Metroid. That may be coming home with me. So I'm looking through the viewfinder and looking at this, too, because I don't know what all's in here, guys. <laughs> and cool. also they usually have some type of LPs going up in the background there so we can watch a little bit of Zelda so yeah really cool store like I said big supporters of the channel we come here a lot um, I'm actually going to put the camera down for now and look at shiny things maybe pick something up if I do I'll show you what we get but for now thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll be right back I'm just going to give him the eyebrow <laughs> the people's eyebrow <laughs> That's the only eyebrow I can give. This one doesn't work like that. Yeah, I can't. Like, I can't do both. Mm, not really. Hi, welcome to the B-roll. I might even leave that in the end. It's like, yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really, really like when I do the meat rod for us. Apparently I don't look at all this fucking tough whatsoever. <clears throat> Just me and myself busy doing that. <laughs>